Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Karen Dina, and today I'm going to talk about the differences between fructose and high fructose corn syrup. What are they and what is their effect on the body? First of all, I'm going to take a look at what they are. Here's fructose. Fructose is a monosaccharide. Mono means one and saccharide means sugar. So fructose is a simple sugar. It's one of the simplest sugars of all, along with glucose. It's also one of the primary sugars that is found in fruit and a variety of other whole natural plant foods, including some vegetables. The fructose that we find in whole natural plant foods is accompanied by a variety of important nutrients, including vitamins, minerals, fiber, antioxidants, phytonutrients, and water. In contrast, the fructose that we find in processed foods does not have these added benefits. High fructose corn syrup, by contrast, is composed of both fructose and glucose. Now the amount that we find of each of these in high fructose corn syrup depends on the type. Okay, but the type of high fructose corn syrup that we mostly find in foods used as a sweetener is composed of 55% fructose and 45% glucose. Here is a pie chart representation of the two. As you can see, fructose is 100% fructose. High fructose corn syrup, by contrast, is 55% fructose and 45% glucose. How do they compare in their effect on the body? Fructose and high fructose corn syrup have very different effects on blood glucose or blood sugar levels. Fructose is considered to be low glycemic. In contrast, high fructose corn syrup is much higher on the glycemic index, and here are some numbers. Fructose is about 15 plus or minus 4 on the glycemic index, whereas high fructose corn syrup is 62. As you can see, it's much higher than fructose. Glucose is 103, which is the highest of all. What is the glycemic index? The glycemic index is a measure of the effect of carbohydrate on blood sugar levels. More specifically, it's a measure of how fast blood sugar levels rise after the consumption of a particular type of food. The higher the glycemic index of a food, the quicker the blood sugar rise. Here's our chart again showing our glycemic index values. And then additionally down here, we have a bar chart showing the differences between fructose, high fructose corn syrup, and glucose on the glycemic index. As you can see, high fructose corn syrup is much higher than fructose, and glucose is the highest of all. Given that glucose is high in the glycemic index, this probably contributes to the higher glycemic index value of high fructose corn syrup. And it's also important to note that sucrose, which is also known as white sugar, is half glucose and half fructose, 50-50. So high fructose corn syrup, we would expect to have a similar glycemic index value to sucrose. And that's what we see. Take a look at this chart here. Sucrose is 65 plus or minus 4 on the glycemic index. And that's just slightly higher than high fructose corn syrup. The reason why it's a little bit higher on the glycemic index is because sucrose contains a little bit more glucose than high fructose corn syrup. And here's another representation of our sugar so far. There's fructose down here, which is low glycemic, followed by high fructose corn syrup at 62, sucrose at 65, as you can see, they're very similar, and then glucose is up here around 100. To summarize, fructose and high fructose corn syrup are different in both their composition and their effect on blood sugar levels. Fructose that we find in fruit is part of a whole food complex that contains a variety of synergistic nutrients. And then lastly, high fructose corn syrup is an isolated sweetener. Thanks for watching. And for those of you interested in learning more about our educational opportunities, or our lab work and nutrition consulting services, please visit our website at rawfoodeducation.com.